In this video, I'm going to write a C program to split a string at a given index. So here I'll make a test string. I'll say car str is equal to, I've got one hand in my pocket. And what I'll do is make two character arrays to store each portion of the string after we split it. So I'll say car first 100 and second 100. So these character arrays are going to store each portion of the string. Now, because I'm working with strings, I'm going to include the string.h library. It has a bunch of helpful functions for working with strings, including a string length function we can use in this situation here. To perform the actual split, I'm going to make a function. I'll say void string split. And the function is going to accept as arguments the string itself, the index at which to perform the split, the character array to store the first portion of the string, and the character array to store the second portion of the string. And then we're going to have to provide a definition of the function down here. Calling the function is going to look like this. We're going to say string split. We'll give it the string. We'll give it the index we want to split it at. We'll say maybe 13. The first character array and the second character array, where we're going to store the first and second portions of the string. So to perform the actual split, the first thing we're going to do is get the length of the string. We'll say here int length is equal to strlens. Now, if the index where we're requested to perform the split is greater than the length, that doesn't make any sense. We can't do anything, right? We can't split a string beyond the length of the string. So we're not going to do anything if that's the case. So if the index is less than the length, we can proceed with doing a split. Otherwise, we're just not going to do anything. So then to actually perform the split, what we're going to do is copy the string up until the index we want to split it at into the first character array. And then from the index on to the length of the string, we're going to copy the content of the string into the second character array. And that's going to leave us with two strings that we can actually then work with. So we can say here, for int i is equal to zero, i is less than index, i plus plus. And we're going to copy into this first character array here, the contents of the string up until the index. So we're going to say here, first at i is equal to s at i. And we're just copying into the first character array the contents from the string from zero up until the index itself. So from here up until the index. When we're done that, we are going to want to put a null terminator at the end of the first string. So we'll say first at index is equal to, and we'll put in a null terminator here, the special character that is going to terminate the, the string for us there. And then to copy in the second portion, we're going to have to start the counter off at the index. So we're going to say here, for int i is equal to index, i is less than length, i plus plus. And in this case here, we're going to actually have to do a little bit of math when we do the copying over to the second character array. So here I'll say second at i minus index is equal to s at i. So what we're doing here is we're copying from the string s from the index until the length. So from here up until the length of the string. And we have to store it into the second character array. But the second character array is going to start off at index 0, right? Whereas i here is already set to this index here, which is potentially non-zero, it's potentially something further into the string than that. So we basically have to shift it over by the index when we store it into second, if we're using the counter variable i here, just to make sure that we're storing it at, you know, position zero, position one, position two, and so on in this second character right here. And then the other thing we have to do is we have to put the null terminator into the second character right here. One thing we could do is s is also a string and s also has a null terminator on the end of it at position length. So if we just said i is less than or equal to length here, 
we would actually copy the null terminator from S into second at the right position. So we'll actually do that just because that'll work just as well. So we'll save this and then we'll give it a test. We'll have to print out the strings just to make sure it's working. So we'll say here printf percent %s and we'll output first, printf percent %s and we'll output second. And I'll save this here and run it and we'll see what we get. And we get I've got one and then hand in my pocket. And so we've successfully split this string into two strings. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.